Yeah, it's always nice to win the first test match. Um, I think with the hype going into the test match and certainly from a personal perspective, it was pretty busy. Um, so it was nice to be able to contribute in the game and to win. I think you always get a little bit more nervous around milestone games because if things go wrong, people can you know, ask you questions. But um, it was nice to come through and, and be as comprehensive as we did. I think, as I said on the TV, I think day two was sort of the standard as a team that... Um, you know, we reached a height that I think we can we can certainly achieve as a team, which was exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, <clears throat> obviously been through phases where you've had to build to get to this point, but to have um, a group of guys that can contribute, not just one person, but obviously this test match, Dale in particular, you know, was outstanding. I thought um, with the ball on day two, you know, he, it was important that someone set the tone for us, and he did that extremely well with those first three wickets and the way that he bowled, and everyone sort of followed suit after that. You know, I think uh, the first... Two innings of the, this test match were always going to be the tough one. Um, you know, we felt that we, you know, we needed to take it on on day one, and uh, hopefully it would quick up, quicken up on day two, and and the, the cracks would play a big role going into the fourth inning. So, um, you know, it was just outstanding the way Dale set the tone, and the rest of the guys followed. I was, I was very happy with the performance. It is um, um, something that I want, wanted to do well, and I'm, I'm getting better at it. I'm still not to where I want to be, but um, it's nice to see some rewards, a few, few catches going in. Sweetly and, and with the batting and obviously um, I'll, I've always worked hard on my batting, batting and um, hopefully I'll keep improving. I, I try and focus on the basics and, and do it for the team but it's, it's nice to see stuff like that and obviously records are there to be broken. Um, I'm, I'm very lucky and, and glad that I'm one of those guys that had the opportunity to break a record and um, keep my feet on the ground and keep working hard and hopefully I'll become a better, better, even a better, better player. Yeah, it was a good test. Um... And I'm just stoked that we won. That's the main thing. After the first day when we you know, we won the toss, and Graham, I thought, made a brave decision in deciding to bat first uh, on a wicket that a lot of people thought that if we'd bowled first, would have had a similar kind of um, achievements as we had in the first innings. But, you know, nice to uh, go out there, chest out, and <laughs> bat first. So, you know, well done to Graham, especially on his 100th test as captain. Good decision there. And, you know, with the ball, came out sweetly, you know, so much more you can say when you take 11 wickets, you know, it's, um, it's a pretty decent performance, I'm quite, um, quite chuffed with that. We've got enough time for them, I think it's like 10 days now or 9 days or something like that before the second test, so uh, the key thing for us is that we don't uh, get complacent and just kind of take our foot off the gas, I guess, you know, we want to go to Cape Town, we want to continue this wave of, uh, can you call it dominating cricket, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, that's the key thing for us right now. Uh, whatever the Pakistan side decide to do or with their side or the, the way they approach the game in Cape Town is, is their decision. But I think the, the key thing for us is to keep our feet on the ground and, uh, and work hard. We know that we've got a big push in Cape Town. Um, and that, that would be, if we win in Cape Town, that would be fantastic.